Hello everyone. Welcome stampers. My name is Lori Staley. I'm an addicted stamper with Stampin' Up! and I'm an independent demonstrator in the United States. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning for another Make It Monday. And if this is your first time watching, thanks so much. Come on in. We're going to spend a few minutes stamping together this morning. And I would love it if you like what you see to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, or even better yet, hit the subscribe button and then uh, hit that bell so that you're notified when future videos are loaded. We're going to do a fun fold sneak peek. It's the end of sneak peeks, right? Because today is Monday, August 2nd, and of course the new catalogs launch tomorrow. So real quick, today's the last day for the designer series paper sale. Don't miss out on grabbing some of our beautiful annual catalog papers at 15% off. This sale does end tonight. So make sure you've taken advantage of that if that is something that you wanted. And then this is also the last day to pre-order your paper share and get the sample, uh, the bonus sample of the bedazzled celebration paper. Um, this paper share addresses all of the new designer series papers in the mini catalog that launches tomorrow. For $36, you get two six by six sheets. I'm sorry, for $34, you get two six by six sheets of each pattern in all the new papers. And then for an additional $6, you would receive uh, one sample of the silver foils, all three patterns of that, the gold shimmer vellum, the cork, the snowy white velvet, and the craft. So for a total of 40, you would receive, I think it's 103 sheets of paper, six by six paper. Um, if you're not local to me, there is an $8 priority shipping charge so that I can get those to you quickly. And uh, you can find the link if you're interested in the paper share down below the video, and I will post that there um, so you can take advantage of that or at least read more information about it. And then also be sure to check out my Facebook page. I am active on my Facebook business page, Lori Staley, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, three times a week. Um, Tuesdays at two is usually a tipper technique. Thursday mornings is coffee and cards. So grab a beverage and come watch me make a few fun cards. And then Sunday night at eight is my mystery stamping. And that is come stamp along with me where I publish the supplies needed if you'd like to stamp with me that night earlier in the day so you have time to get ready or you can just come and hang out with us and chat we love we love having a really active community there so i'd love for you to join us over there and then one last thing um i do offer a special card class each month and this is virtual or in person if you're local to me i'm in the um, dillsburg pennsylvania area this is my website. Here is our hostess code for August. When you place a minimum $25 product order uh, during the month for on my hostess on my hostess code on my website, you would receive the project kits to make these five cards. And you can see lots of fall here, a little bit of Christmas, and then a purple, because I'm a purple fanatic, right? <laughs> I love purple. Um, so yeah, so some of the new product is here for you to play with, touch and feel. This paper is also one of the new papers coming in the mini catalog. And then this is the bedazzled paper, um, the little centers of the daisy. So very, very pretty. You get it for free. If, they're, if you're long distance and you can't do porch pickup, there's a, I think it's like a $3.26 charge for the postage. Um, and you get an electronic uh, photo PDF that helps you walk through putting the cards together. And if you notice, they're all designed in such a manner that you really only need to have a greeting that you might like to use. Now this one does have this pumpkin on it. Um, so, you know, that might be one of your wish list items anyway out of the new catalog. But the rest of them are all designed just to be able to add a greeting to it and go. All right. So, and you also get envelopes with that class. All right, so let me show you what we're going to be making today. It's a fun fold and it's a cute one. Look at that little penguin. Isn't he adorable? Oh my goodness, he's so cute. So this is Penguin Place. This is a stamp set that is in the new mini, but look, watch this, voila, and it sits up like this, and I know you can't see that on the camera, but that's kind of how it sits when you want to display it. Isn't that cute? It's an accordion fold with the designer paper on the inside. So this is what we're going to make today, and I promise you it is easier than it looks, so don't panic, okay? All right, so let me just walk you through what we're using. 
because we do have some new products here. This is the Penguin Place stamp set that will be found in the or in the new holiday mini. I call it the holiday mini. It's really August through December, but it's holiday mini to me because it's just filled with holiday goodness, right? So a cute little penguin, which of course has the coordinating punch and sometimes the lights aren't complementary to that. So that's what it looks like. You can punch out the full penguin. You can punch out just the white part of the penguin. And then that's his little feet that you can punch out. So very cute little punch to coordinate with that. Even better, during celebration, we're gonna have some six by six designer, or no, I'm sorry, 12 by 12 designer series paper that coordinates with this bundle. One of the patterns looks something like this. And guess what? That punch, let you punch out the little penguins on this particular pattern. So this is the one side, the other side is just a nice neutral, um, just jade pattern. And then we're actually using one of the other patterns that has the smaller snowmen, penguins, foxes, trees, etc., on it. So that's the one new item that we're using, that bundle. We are also using Christmas to Remember. Lots of great greetings in this set and the friends like you should make this season special is what I opted to use on the inside of the card. So those are the two new products plus the designer series paper that we're using today. All right, let's get started and actually make the project. So Just Jade is my card base. grab my bone folder so we can get a nice sharp crease on that. That's kind of important on this card. I did use the color, the scallop contour dies to make this real pretty scalloped edge frame. And I also use this to die cut one of my circles out of. I hate wasting paper behind another layer especially if it's a specialty paper. Basic white, I could have lived probably without it, but I was short a circle and I'm like, oh, I'll just punch it out of this, right? Or die cut it out of this. You could also use your punches if you still have them. I know Stampin' Up! retired them, but I love our punches and I love our dies. So then I'm using just a piece of the six by six current 2123 in color designer series paper that um, Fresh Freesia coordinates with the paper from the Penguin paper that we're using. It coordinates with the scarf on the little um, polar bears. So we're just going to mount this together. I was going to say, I did have adhesive here. And this is probably my favorite pattern, the one I'm about to cover up. But this kind of made me think of ornaments for the holidays, string, strung up ornaments. So that's why I chose to use this side of the paper. Does anybody else see ornaments in that paper? All right. And then this is going to get mounted on the card front. I think that's crooked. What do you think? I don't know if, as I've aged, if I've gotten crooked <laughs> or what happens, but... I used to be able to, my husband, it drove my husband crazy because I could walk up and hit a nail into the wall and voila, we had a perfectly straight picture hung, but I can't do that anymore. So I went ahead and fussy trimmed, I just cut him out so I could cut him with, punch him out. But um, one of the little penguins from that designer paper that I showed you, that pattern, and this is just a strip that we all end up with when we're making cards, right? That quarter inch, half inch, eighth inch strip, depending on what size you're cutting your whisper white. This, I don't know if I've shared this with you on here before or not. This is temporary adhesive. It's called Dotto Hermafix, I think. We had this when I first became a demonstrator and it was fabulous because it's temporary. So if you're a scrapbooker and you'd like to like take your layouts and look at them or show them to your friends, hold them up and show them to your friends before you mount them, this is perfect because you can put them together with that and move them around if you don't like what you have. And when you do like it, you can just pick it up, put permanent adhesive behind it and put it down. So I love having that in my studio. I love it because I am one of those that likes to hold my cards up and look at it from different angles. And sometimes I don't have enough fingers to hold everything in place. Um, 
the handle, this is my handle that I put on the back of my little penguin to maneuver him around in the punch. So I get him lined up the way I want him. Um, it saves you punching through other images that you may not want to punch through. And you can put the tiniest piece in your punch and just punch it out. And then I can just peel this little extra that stayed on there right off because it's just on there with that um, temporary adhesive. He's gonna go on our card front with a dimensional or two. I'm gonna put this, I'm using the edges up. So we're gonna put that piece right there and then we'll come back in and put another piece down here. Now, I really would never have thought to put the Just Jade and the Fresh Freesia together, but I think it's lovely. And I often take my inspiration for the colors that I use in my projects from the Designer Series paper. Because I figure if Stampin' Up! says, yeah, we can marry this together, then I can certainly marry this together, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna grab one of the pick, I think this is the Banner Pick-A-Punch. And we are going to punch our tails on our grating piece. So I want this one. Now this one, I left them flat. This one, we're gonna do the banners on the end. So what I do, this is not an exact half inch, one inch, etc but I can still slide that in there. I can turn my punch over. I can eyeball that center and I can punch. And then I just flip it around and do the same thing on the back. So if you're like me and you don't want a full quarter inch border between your layers, which is what the punch gives you, then just cut it to the 5 eighths or the 3 eighths or whatever you're working with and you can hold it in there and eyeball the, the point so you get the center. So that allows us to have a little bit of a thinner border. Now let me grab the Whisper White that I did in advance. And we're gonna stamp that. This is one of the greetings from the Little Penguin stamp set. Be cool, be chill, be merry. Line that up using my grid paper. Gently ink that up because it is a very tiny stamp. And try to hit the center. <laughs> we'll see how I do, right? Not too bad. We'll take that. We're going to mount these two together. And then we're gonna put a little bit of dimensional on the back of that as well, so that that lifts off our page. And for that one, I think we'll use the minis. We probably could get the larger ones on there, but I have the minis right here. And I usually put the line on the dimensionals before I start taking them off the sheet so I know which backing has already been removed. But what happens is I open up a package when I'm sitting at my video station and then I forget to go back later and, uh, and change that up and put that line on there. So that's why sometimes I have to feel around to see if I took the backing off. All right, so there we go. I actually pulled in the Genial Gems and used the green because I don't know about you, I go through the gold faster than I do the green. So I can use some of these as our accents right on the ends of our labels. Okay, so there is our card front and that is just so cute all by itself, but wait till we do the inside, right? You know what? I did not put a piece of soft sea foam on this one either. So you can decide if you like the soft sea foam or just the Just Jade back there. You'll, you can let me know in the comments which one you liked better. 
I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. I love this paper trimmer. I love the fact that I have a cutting blade and a scoring blade all in one tool. If you have the scoring platform, that is great as well to use for this. This will have the measurements all beneath the video for you, so you don't have to worry about um, writing them down. But this is a five and a quarter by uh, 10. So we're gonna score this at two, three, four, five, one inch, one inch increments basically between two and eight, six, seven, and eight. And be careful when you're scoring the designer series paper. Obviously it's not as thick as our cardstock and you could actually um, tear your paper as you are scoring if you're pressing too hard. So now we're just going to do the um, mountain valley fold across here. So the first one is a valley and then a mountain and then a valley. The back side of that paper is pretty cute too. I actually couldn't decide which side to use, but I think I like the little, little landscape with all the critters in the back. Okay, did I not cut this to 10? Maybe I left this at 12. Let's find out. That's exactly what I did. So we're gonna cut two inches off of this. I was like, I have a little too much left at the end. <laughs> there we go. So, 10 by five and a quarter, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are your score lines. But again, don't worry about writing those down. I will put all the measurements in the um, description below. Okay. And I did it again. I missed one of these, didn't I? So we're just going to go back and get them going in the right direction. And then I'm actually going to use my bone folder on the final, final. So it should fold up just like that. And we're just going to crease that. Okay. So then it's as simple as we're going to put some adhesive on here. You can use seal, you can use seal plus, you can use tear and tape, Tombow liquid glue, whatever your adhesive of choice is. Make sure I have them going in the right direction, and I do. And we're gonna line that up right there on the edge. Try to center it between the top and the bottom. And then I'm gonna do this. And that way I'm not pulling it across and trying to get it lined up even. It's perfectly aligned for us. So that's another little trick. Don't try to pull it over and mount it. Just close it on itself after you've applied the adhesive to the back sheet. So there's our accordion fold. I've got my circles die cut. And I actually even did a little bit of the stamping because you can see the snowflakes back here. That is one of the stamps from the set. So I did do two of those. I've got my two penguins, oh, my other two penguins already punched out. And I should have, but I might have to do it again because it seems to have wandered off. I had done the scarf in advance, but we'll do that again. That's not a big deal. So we're gonna bring in some Misty Moonlight. And we're going to stamp a bow tie on one of the little penguins. Okay. So cute, he's adorable. He's gonna go on one of those. And then I have some scrap here. No, that is not scrap. Let me grab a piece of scrap. That's for our inside of our card. Um, that we're just gonna stamp the scarf down on 
so we can trim that out so the one little guy can have a scarf. snip that out with our scissors. Nice straight lines makes it easy cutting, right? I always think like I need to be singing, but you guys do not want to hear me sing. I tell my group that on my Facebook page all the time. No singing. <laughs> we are having some crazy weather where I am. I don't know where you guys are watching from, but it's been a little nutty around here lately. That little piece is being contentious. And then we're going to go right up in here, too. So that's an easy fussy cut. Um, as long as the little pieces want to cooperate with you and fall out when you want them to, all right? But no big curves, nothing like that that you have to worry about. Now that's going to actually go right on the second little penguin, just like that. These guys are all gonna go on here. Now I did not, I chose not to use dimensionals on the inside of the card. I didn't think it needed any more depth on the inside, so we're just gonna mount everything flat. I love the little snowflakes behind them. That is done in Misty Moonlight and I off stamped it before I stamped it onto the circle. So we have those two square or circle squares. Yeah, we have the two squares done. I'm okay, guys. <laughs> I've got one blank here that I'm going to bring in the little tree and we're gonna color the tree with our markers. Now these are our regular stamp and write markers. We always start with your lightest color when you're coloring direct to the stamp. And I'm using just jade and soft suede. Get the ink all over the tree there. And then we'll do the trunk in the soft suede. And then we do a little, which is basically just breathing onto the stamp um to make sure that if the phone rang and you walked away or whatever that you would have the ink reactivated right and i'm seeing a gap in the ink so i'm kind of hoping this works now we're going to turn that over and try that again and i'm going to grab one of these guys in here um, it didn't like going straight down onto the hard top because of course it is photopolymer and you should use your foam pad underneath your photopolymer stamps since the stamp itself doesn't have the cushion like the red rubber does. I sometimes try to cheat. And then we do it again. <sighs> Much better. Got a little variation in there. That always looks good. We're gonna put our season's greetings on with Misty Moonlight. And again, this stamp is directly from the Penguin Place stamp set. Okay. And then we're also going to do some snowflakes and I'm going to put the pad under there so as I go off the edge, I'm not stamping on my foam pad. And we're just gonna come in here like this and come around the tree. And we're gonna 
should do one kind of like that. All right, so we have our snowflakes in the background, our tree and our greeting. Now we're ready to bring our card back in. I'm gonna take this away because it's easier to work on a flat surface. We're gonna go ahead and mount these and we're gonna stagger them. So we're only gonna put adhesive on the left side of the circle. And depending upon what size you're using, I think this is somewhere between like the two inches one, the two inches one is the back from the die set and um, whatever that next set, next size down is. But you can have smaller ones, so you might have more space as you go down your accordion paid uh, folds, or make sure you're doing it on the right side on the back, um, otherwise you will be sealing your accordion rather than having it be flexible. I'm going the whole way in to that score line. And I know that they need to overlap just a little bit. And one more. And again, you could absolutely use your seal plus for this. Um, I do think that this is a card that will get a lot of opening and closing. So the stronger your adhesive, the better. Okay, so then this just folds up like that. Um, if your circles are too large, what will happen is when you close your card, it'll be sticking out. So it wouldn't fit in your envelope as well as you really wouldn't want that from an aesthetic viewpoint. So make sure your circles are able to go into the accordion creases far enough that they don't extend beyond. And then the last step is to bring in the little strip that we're gonna put here. So you have a place to sign your card, always important. And of course you could put some Whisper White on the back if you wanted to do that and um, use it back there. This is a greeting that is in a new stamp set in the mini catalog. Friends like you make this season special. And I stamped that with the Just Jade. And that's gonna go right in here. And then you have a place to sign and put a personal greeting if you like. So there we go. That is our accordion fold for today with our little penguins and all his little friends running around playing in the background. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I'll put all the measurements and the supply lists in the comments below. If you did like it, please leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button. Let me know. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know, I really liked this one when I did it, but now I kinda like the just the Just Jade. So let me know which one you like, the one that's Just Jade or the one that has the soft sea foam on it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll be back next week with another Make It Monday video. Until then, take care, and I hope you'll join me again. Bye.